How's it going everyone and welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this. We're going to be doing a install of the emergency lighting system for GTA 5 LSPDFR. Uh, you guys can see an example of that on the screen right now on my desktop. It shows uh, flashing lights for this charger. This wasn't necessarily set up like this. Uh, this is just the base wallpaper that I use. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into this. And uh, all links are down below in the description. So you guys are going to want to go ahead and open up your Google Chrome here. You guys are want to go ahead and click the first link down below in the description. That will be emergency lighting system. So just go ahead and click that down below in the description. It'll take you right to it. Um, so it's going to be right here emergency lighting system we're going to go ahead and click that and then we're also going to go ahead hit download this file accept terms and conditions and then go ahead and click on download you'll then see that it'll start downloading and there it goes there you have ELS version 105 for ELS to work you guys are going to want to go ahead and grab script hook 5 as I said links down below in the description pop-ups on this page just going to close them out you guys are going to go to this page here and you're going to go ahead and scroll down until you get down to this right here where it says download and you're going to click download right here and then after that it's going to take you to this page here where you're going to want to go ahead and click grand theft auto 5 right up here at the top and then you'll get more than likely another pop-up it happens a lot on this page just close them out when they come unless you have an ad blocker go ahead and click script 5 and then you will then scroll down until you see the download link right here and you'll click download and you get another pop-up but that time with that pop-up the file does download so now once you guys have scriptic 5 installed you guys are going to want to go ahead and head over to this web page here you're going to want to go ahead and get open 4 but you guys just have to go ahead uh, here i'll show you right here it says not secure but it's perfectly fine to go ahead and just click download on open 4 i'm not going to do so because i already have stalled but uh, go ahead and install that guys and then get it started uh, just set up file that it comes with uh, just pretty much run it through like you would normally and then after that you guys are want to go ahead and grab brighter emergency lights uh, it's going to be linked down below in the description um, all credit goes to the developer which is MSTB developments um, a lot of people tell you to use radiance 4 but this I honestly like this one a little bit better than Radiance, or sorry, Radiance 5, not 4. Uh, this is actually a lot better than Radiance 5. Um, I use it personally because I don't know, I feel like the lights are a lot less brighter. So if you guys want to try this out or if you guys want to try Radiance 5, I'll, I will leave both of those linked down below in the description. Um, but once you guys have that installed, we're going to go ahead and open up all these files and get everything started. So you guys are going to go ahead and click download. And it's going to automatically download as well. Um, then go ahead and open your file explorer here and go to your downloads tab. So we're going to go ahead and open up ELS, open up Scriptbook 5, and then the uh, this is the better lighting right here. It's called VS settings. Uh, but you guys are going to want to go ahead and open that one up. You guys can just go ahead and open these files all the way up. Hit brighter lights files and then uh, go ahead and hit bright recommended that's the visual settings dot dat I'll show you guys what to do with that here in a moment but for now let's go ahead and go over to the main files for ELS let's go ahead and open the installation files Grand Theft Auto 5 and you're gonna take all these files here and you're gonna go ahead and drop them into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder uh, but you guys are going to go ahead and just drag and drop all these files right here right down into your directory okay so now once you guys have that done uh, you're gonna want to go ahead and just close that out you're done with that and then we're going to go ahead and open up script 5. Now we're going to open the bin file. And you don't have to take the native trainer. I'm going to right now just because I don't have any other trainer installed. And this will actually help a little bit as far as uh, showing off the lights well, in a little while. But with this you just simply drag and drop. So you guys are going to go ahead and close that out. Once you are done with it, script 5 is now installed. So that's going to work. So now... The other thing that you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go onto lspdfr.com and you're going to want to go and find yourself vehicle pack which has ELS lighting capabilities I guess pretty much. So you guys are going to go to the downloads, go to vehicle models right here and you're going to go ahead and hit ELS compatibility and then select the ELS from the drop down menu. And that will then show you all vehicles that are ELS. I already have a pack installed. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, install that one and I'll pretty much show you guys how to do it. It's all the same for every other um, car pack. You just install the ELS or VCF 
files is what sometimes the uh, file folders will be called. So you'll click on this and you'll have your Tahoe um, lighting pattern and then your charger lighting pattern. This is the XML file which is dropped into the ELS folder. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and open this up here, right? You're into your GTA 5 directory and you're going to go to the very top folder which says ELS and you're going to click on that and then you're going to click pack underscore default and then from here this is where you're going to go ahead and take this XML file and drag and drop it into this folder here and you're going to do that for that one as well as the Tahoe so this is Sheriff 2 now if you have one that's named police it's going to ask you to replace it and you're just going to want to go ahead and click yes on replacing it now for the car packs, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this as well. Uh, just click on them and you'll see that they are YFT files. Now for these, you guys are going to want to have open 4 as I said. You guys are going to go ahead and install how it needs to be installed. And then you'll get this window here and you're going to click Windows and it's going to ask you for your GTA 5 directory like where it's located. Mine I believe is already set up but it should automatically load yes so whenever you guys get into here you're going to want to go ahead and go ahead and click edit mode right here and then hit yes you're going to get a pop up here that says asi manager now you're going to want to go ahead and click that and then it's going to bring you to this here and you're going to want to go ahead this is not going to be installed for you guys it's installed for me because i've already had open for running but you're going to want to go ahead and click install on this as well as open asi and you're going to click yes when this pops up and then open camera is optional, but I do recommend it. it um, it's pretty much a free camera that doesn't have any boundary limitations. It's used in the Rockstar Editor to get uh, screenshots or anything. It's really helpful for thumbnails if you guys are a video creator or a live streamer. So you guys, once you guys have that done, you guys can go ahead and close that out. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and click update. We're going to go to X64 DLC packs. And me personally, I use patch date 20, 24NG. Um, go ahead and open that and then go ahead and click dlc.rpfs and you're going to go ahead and see that it says copy to mods folder uh, the archive you're currently ed editing is not located on the mods folder now to put in the mods it's got to be located it's got to be located on the mods folder so you guys are going to go ahead and click copy to mods and once that's done I'll be right back with you guys okay guys so once that's done you guys are going to want to go ahead and click x64 levels Grand Theft Auto 5 and then vehicles.rpf. Now, this is where you're going to go ahead and go back to your WinRAR file that has your uh, cars inside. And like I said, for this one, it's going to be the Tahoe and the Charger. So, we're going to go ahead and replace those. We're going to go ahead and click on the Charger and get all three of these files here. Just take them and drag and drop. Now, be sure you guys are in edit mode or else this is not going to work. It's going to give you um, pretty much a uh, no symbol. So, it's going to look something like this here I can go ahead and show it right now it'll pretty much do that and you guys can't drag and drop you have to be in edit mode be sure that this is ticked and you click yes and this is on in order to be able to put in the files um, now let's go ahead and throw this charger in or sorry the um, Tahoe and if you guys want to see these outside of the game and you want to see if they look correct in uh, before you launch your game you guys can click on the file um, that says fragment object and you can see the vehicle here so now I'm gonna go ahead and launch the game and I want to do is go ahead and open up that um, visual settings file and you guys are gonna want to go ahead and click the uh, visual settings dot dat and then you're gonna go ahead and um Okay, so the last thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to your uh, GTA 5 um, just go ahead and click it up here and once you guys have that done so be sure you are in edit mode go ahead and click update and then you're going to want to go ahead and click update.rpf and then click copy to mods I'll be back with you guys once this is finished and now once you guys have got that done you're going to want to go ahead and click common data and then you guys are going to see the visual settings.data file right here and you're going to go ahead and just take this file here and just drag and drop and then that's all you have to do for that and you guys can go ahead and exit out of that close edit mode and then close open 4 and then you guys can go ahead and launch your game so I'm going to go ahead and launch the game and I'll show you guys uh, how to use ELS whenever we get into the game alright you guys once you load into the game uh, you guys can go ahead and click uh, F3 um, which will bring up the uh, trainer 
and I'm gonna go ahead and go to vehicles here and we're gonna go to car spawner and I'm gonna go ahead and find the sheriff file really quickly all right you guys are gonna want to go ahead and hit spawn and here's the vehicle right here all right you guys so go ahead and to know that your ELS is working um, you don't have to be on duty or anything you guys can just go ahead and hit control P and you'll get those little um, box pop up in the lower left or lower right corner rather um, and to activate your lights guys you're gonna want to go ahead and just click J and that's gonna activate your first set of lights which I don't believe this vehicle has any uh, stage one lighting uh, some vehicles usually have traffic advisors that pop on uh, but this one does not have a stage one so we're gonna go ahead and hit J one more time that's gonna activate stage two lighting which is gonna be these uh, two in the front on the ram bar and you got the two in the dash you got the light bar up top in the back and you got the wig wags with the uh, brake lights or with the uh, reverse lights rather and now if we go ahead and hit J one more time we'll get the full lights going we'll get more of the light bar lit up as well as the back lights and then you have the wig wags going in the tail lights as well and then also the wig wags going with the headlights and then more of the ram bars lit up as well um, now to go ahead and uh, activate your siren, you guys are going to go ahead and cycle through uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 on your keyboard at the top row keys. So it's going to be siren 1, this is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 which six runs dual sirens okay now the other thing that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys is you can also change the way that the lights flash so if you go ahead and click U on your keyboard you will see that the lights up top will start to flash a different pattern so you guys can see that there you can also do that with actually like this pattern right here I might keep this uh, and you guys can go ahead and hit I, and then I changes the flash patterns as well. Uh, I'm not sure what this one changes on this vehicle. It might be these tail lights, actually. The yeah, that's what's changing the way that these flash the Coronas. The other thing that you guys can do with the LS, along with changing the light patterns, is if you guys go ahead and just turn off your lights, okay. And then the three keys that are next to P. I'm not sure what they're actually called, but the three keys that are next to the P, and then with the one with the slash, you guys can hit the slash key, and that will turn off your headlights as well as your tail lights, and it'll black you out pretty much to where you can't be seen if you guys want to sit up and park somewhere on radar. Um, now you can also go ahead and click the key in the middle, which. Um, it's supposed to be a takedown key which would throw on your spotlight but I guess this vehicle does not have takedown sadly uh, so I can't necessarily show that feature off uh, in the video but it does have cruise lights which is the second key uh, this is going to be the key closest to P on the left side um, click that and then if you guys go ahead and hold down alt and then if you hold down the takedown key again you will see that it turns on an interior light inside the vehicle a uh, little red light starts flashing uh, most vehicles have these m lights modeled uh, does not look like this one has it modeled it's just kind of glows uh, and you can go ahead and turn it back off by hitting alt and then the takedown key again just another way to have a little bit more of immersion in the game so um, there are other features uh, alley lights and takedowns for some reason this vehicle does not have alley lights or takedowns for some random reason I guess the developer didn't get the chance to put them in um, so I'll have to show those off in another video whenever I'm doing a patrol now if you guys do have any issues as far as getting ELS installed uh, or any issues of uh, getting it to run then uh, please comment down below and uh, let me know and I'll get back with you guys as soon as I can. And if you guys did enjoy this video and like to see more tutorials and maybe a patrol or two, I do go live every now and then as well. Uh, then go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss another upload. And um, hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.